Number six is always going to look like this, and it's always going to give you directions on how to round. And it says, if necessary, round to the thousandths. Usually it's necessary. And that means that if your number doesn't stop before the thousandths, then you need to round. Okay? So it's not going to be set up for me, so we're going to have to figure out how to do that. One and one tenth divided by nineteen hundredths. This is kind of like what you do with tutorials. Yeah. So which of these numbers goes inside? Six. Six. Which one? one this first one is always inside. Remember I talk about you're there to meet your favorite person in the entire world, a celebrity or whoever. You want to be the first person inside that room. So one and one tenth goes inside, and this number is on the outside. Wrong. What's my rule here? You, can't have decimal. you have to move your decimal so that your number is only a whole number. So how many times do you have to move this decimal to make it a whole num number of 19? Twice. What do I have to do to this decimal? Also move it twice. Once, twice. Because there's no number here, I fill the space with a zero, and then take my decimal up and put it in my answer. Okay, that's important. And the thing about division is that you want your work to be nice and lined up. Otherwise, it can get pretty confusing. So, the question is, how many times does 19 go into 1? Zero. Zero, zero times, put it in your answer. 19 into 11? Zero. Also zero times. So now it's 19 into 110. Well, we can round this. We can think, okay, 20. How many times would 20 go into 110? We can count by twos. Five. Two, four, six, eight, ten. That'd be five times. I'm going to say this is probably five. So I'm going to pull to the side and work it out. Nineteen times five. Five times nine? Forty-five. Five times one is five plus four? Nine. Ninety-five. I think you're right. Five times. Ninety-five is lined up just like we did. We push it all to the to the right. Can I do 0 minus 5? No. no. I'm going to borrow from this 1. The 1 becomes a 0. And this is a full 10. Okay, full credit there. 10 minus 5? Five? 5. Can I do 0 minus 9? No. no. So again, I'm going to borrow from that 1, which becomes a 0. And I'm adding a 10 to this. So 10 minus 9? 1. So I'm left with 15. But I'm not finished yet because remember I have to at least get past the thousand so that I can round. What do I do now? I don't have any numbers to bring down. Yeah. Add a zero. I already have my decimal, so I can just bring down my zero. Nineteen into one fifty. Okay, let's try eight. Nineteen times eight. Eight times nine? Seventy two. Eight plus one is uh, eight times one is eight plus seven? Uh, is that too much? Yeah. yeah, so then I'm going to go down to seven times. Put my answer up there. Nineteen times seven. Seven times nine? Seven times one is seven plus six? Thirteen. So 133. Like I said, I guarantee if you uh, line things up nice and neat, it makes it so much easier. So I'm going to borrow from the five to make it a four. That becomes a 10. 10 minus 3? 7. 4 minus 3? 1. Okay, so 17. But I'm still not done yet. I only <coughs> have the tenths place here. So I'm going to add a 0. Hopefully I don't run out of room. 19 into 170? Well, let's look. I have 8. And 19 times 9 will be too much. So I would say 8 times. And that's 152, although I could be wrong here. 7, borrow from the 7, which becomes a 6. 10 minus 2, 8. 6 minus 5, 1. So 18, we were close, okay? Again, I need to keep going, add a 0, bring it down. 19 into 180. Nine times. Nine times. Nineteen times nine. Nine times nine? Eighty-one. Nine times one is nine plus eight? One seventy-one.
borrow from that 8 becomes a 7. That's a 10. 10 minus 1? Okay, so let's look at my answer up here. This is my tenths place, hundredths, thousandths place. If I'm rounding to my thousandths, do I need to go one more place value over? Yeah, so I have to go one more. So add one more zero. Sorry for the mess. 19 two. goes into 90 how many times? Two. Two. Only two? No. Two. Here's 19 times 5, which is 95. Four. So I would say four times. And it actually doesn't even matter what four times 19 is because I'm finished. This right here is what I need in order to now round. So I'm going to rewrite it on a clean sheet so that we can figure out how to round it. 5 decimal point 7, 8, 9, 4. Okay. So this is what my answer looks like. And my directions say round to the nearest thousandths if necessary. Well, it's necessary because my number is going to keep going on and on. Tenths place, hundredths place, thousandths place, which means this uh, one, two, three numbers after is what I should be having with my answer. I look to its right neighbor because he always tells me the right answer. If it's five or more, I add one. If it's four or less, I let it rest. So which do I do? Let it rest. Let it rest. So that nine stays the same and so does everything else, but everything after the nine drops off. It doesn't count. So five, seven, eight, nine, done. Okay, it said round to the thousands. My last digit is in the thousands place.